first day of school. Don't be a slob. Don't get a job. Go back to class. You can pass. And to start the day off nice and fine, I'm going to play a new old favorite of mine. Chapter 2, The Flying Cat If you're like most of our readers, you're probably wondering where we get all the ideas from our books from. Well, sometimes we think them up. Other times they are based on stuff that actually happens, like this book, for instance. It all started one morning when I got up and went down to get some breakfast. Terry was already in the kitchen. He was painting a cat. And when I say painting a cat, I don't mean he was painting a picture of a cat. He was painting an actual cat. Bright yellow. This might be a stupid question, Terry, I said. But why are you painting that cat bright yellow? Because I'm turning it into a canary, he said. I started to explain to Terry that you can't turn a cat into a canary just by painting it yellow. But he said, yes you can, watch this. And carried the dripping cat to the edge of the deck. No. I yelled as Terry held the cat in midair and let it go. But I didn't have worried. The cat didn't fall. Two little wings 
popped out of its back and then it twitted and flew away. See, said Terry, turning me into triumph. I told you so. Well, how stupid can I?